podcast. Okay, now it's working. So hello everybody, welcome back to the stream. We're gonna continue working on the game. Uh, today we're gonna work on some new enemy types. Um, but first let's do a little recap of what we've done last time. So uh, last week we mostly worked on on the wave function collapse algorithm or the implementation. Um, since then, I've done some more research on this on this front, um, tweaked a bit the the, the, the values that we that we've used. Um, yeah, so so the the result that we have right now is something like this. So I was trying to somehow make it look a little bit more more organic the the the, 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 the those vines um is not is not great uh but uh, oh. uh but uh yeah it is it, it is a start um but i think is uh we are yeah for for, for me doing some more research um we are probably not gonna go with uh, with this approach for for the details in the game for the um, the details that I wanted to do to to the tower. Um, yeah, having a, a better understanding of uh, what the algorithm can do and uh, how it does it. I think there are uh, more uh, more yeah there are better ways of uh, of adding the the types of details that I want to the to the tower. And I, I don't think we're going to use uh, wave function collapse for this. But uh, yeah, it's not to, it's not all lost because the research that I've done uh, will most probably pay off in, in the end. Uh, most likely I'm going to I'm going to use it for something else. Maybe not in this game, but uh, but some other project. So um, do, doing the research uh, is still uh, it was still valuable. But yeah, so so this is what we've worked on uh, last time. I'm pretty sure uh, the, the the thing that we've done is because um, I think we, we've we've worked on this on the last past on the past uh, three streams. Uh, but I'm pretty sure we've uh, mocked with uh, with this uh, with this new grid, which is a which is a triangular grid. Because previously we had uh, let me enable the the other grid. Uh, we had the, the the square grid. So let's see. Okay, it's a twenty by twenty grid. Yeah. So this. So before we had this, and uh, I'm pretty sure that, uh, what we've done last time is uh, the, the the work on the on the triangular grid. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So yeah, as I said, this is this is uh, what uh, what we've come up with. Um, but yeah, this is not gonna. We're not gonna use it. Uh, we're not gonna use it in in the game for for the for the tower details. There are some things that I've that I've looked into since then. Um, let me see if I can bring somebody up. Apparently, I put those. Let me see if I can find the. Yeah, so it would be this would be one of them, and let's see if I can. Oh yeah, this one. This is the the, the better thing. So this is a yeah. There's some code made by made by some guy like a while ago, like 16 years ago. But uh, I I really like the, the the results that he got uh, for for generating. I mean, it looks it looks nice. Uh, the generation of vines so uh, i'm probably I, I i just i just found him uh, but i haven't looked at the code there is a there is a, a way of getting the code he used to to generate this and i'll have to make some time to uh, to dig into it and the other one is uh, this other guy who makes a game which is apparently totally based on on, on vine generation and um, he has done some quite interesting things. Let's see if we can get a. Yeah, and he even has a small tutorial for how to do how to do those those vines that he has. But uh, it looks. 
it looks really good the, the, the vines themselves and the the generation and how it sticks to the surface because you can see it it, it even it, it even works great for the for the curved uh, geometry not only the, the straight pieces so yeah it, it really looks nice and this might be this might be a way of doing it in uh, in our game as well so I have to dig a bit into into how he's done it yeah as I said he has a small tutorial for this uh, I, I've looked at it but I haven't tried to 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 replicate it uh, but I have to find my, uh, I have to find find myself some time to, to do it but I think I've spent enough time on on this um, um, so with with a wave a wave function collapse algorithm so I'm gonna I'm gonna work some more on the game and I'm gonna come back to 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 the vine generation and uh, yeah de basically detail generation some other time but yeah uh, I find some great uh, some great resources and the, the the game looks really cool in my opinion like it really looks nice. this kind of thing where you, you shoot something and then a bridge appears that was like really nice yeah anyway so um yeah this is what uh, what we worked on uh last time um uh, now we're gonna come back to to the game and as you've probably seen in the title we are gonna work on the on the enemies. Uh, we're gonna create some more types of enemies. Uh, that's the, 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 that is a plan. Um, some some three of them are just variations of the the already existing one, and the the, the fourth one is a flying enemy, which is a bit different because he, the, the the flying enemy can can only take damage from. Or, or, or it can only take uh, certain types of damage. Not not everything can can kill it. And there is uh, then there is the healer, which is a, a, a yeah as, as the name implies, it it uh, it heals the uh, the other enemies. It has a, an interesting mechanic of doing that. So um, yeah, and we're gonna finish up with uh, with the healer. But first, yeah. So this uh, this is my, my 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 research task for what what was left of uh, the, of the wave function collapse. Um, but yeah, ignoring that, uh, we have to do something small uh, first of all. So um, and I think I'm gonna just start with it, and uh, I'm gonna explain it uh, while we're in the in the editor. So let's track the time for this, and let's start doing it. <laughs> So a couple of streams ago, we've made um, we, we've added some things to the to the level definition. So um, okay, so so the waves, but we don't care about the waves. The the, the, the important thing is the, the this completion reward. Um, and what I want to do is have a way of showing this in the levels editor. Because currently, even if you select the level, you can only change its name, but not its uh, completion reward. So I would like to add this to to the level to the level itself. So that's what we what we're gonna work on in this task. It should be fairly straightforward to do. So um, yeah, let's just get uh, right into it. So let's see. Um, where we would find it? So, so probably in levels editor. Yeah, here levels editor. So here is where we're gonna find everything that we need. This is a bit of a big file, uh, but we should be able to find our way into this. So this is. I, I'm pretty sure this is what we're looking for. 
yeah so this is a name field and we have to uh, to borrow something from the wave editor which is this yeah this is what we need we need to create an editor for 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 the for the for the object and then attach it to the to the view so it might just be that we have to do this and that's it uh, of course, it's not the selected wave, but it's the selected level. But uh, and actually, we have to do it uh, after. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, after we add the, the the name text field, so like this. So that should be it. There we go. Nice. Yeah. So, so, so one thing that I would like to do, but I'm not sure if it's even possible. I don't think I wanna. So, so maybe that maybe the GID I might keep, but I don't know if I wanna show the waves. Um, even though it does, it's it's not really that important. So the idea is that we have a a, a wave editor in here. So you can you can uh, edit the, the, edit this list and add new a new a new stuff to the to the list. Uh, I might actually just disable everything. Or I think I'm gonna make it invisible. Actually, uh, I think that's that that's what I'm gonna do. But but let's let's first do do something. Let's let's look at the level. So let's take it. Uh, uh, Okay, so so here, what do we want to do here? Uh, hiding inline editors. Let's try to do this. Not sure if this is gonna work. It might not work. This might not count as an inline editor. From you know, audience, audience perspective. Yeah, it does not count as an inline editor. I wonder if I can do it somehow as an inline editor, though. Um, yeah, I don't think so. I don't think I can. Let's look a bit at the at this. Uh, Is the editor type and yeah that's kind of it we don't have anything yeah there's not much that we can do in here okay that's not a problem oh we can cache the editor that is nice we might try to do that maybe Though actually i don't think we need to cache it because we're using we, we, we might have wanted to cache it if we were using i'm Gleave for for rendering but we're actually using uh, ui toolkit and this has the advantage that the 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 the, the elements are not really drawn every time i mean at, at every frame anyway uh yeah i think i think we're fine with this apparently we can't hide the wave definition but the other thing i might just um hide the list altogether because we don't really care about the list. So hiding inspector. Yeah. We don't really care about the waves. Uh, and what I mean by that is we, we have the editor uh, for, for interacting with the waves. So I don't think we need we need to see them in here. We, we, we have a way of interacting with them. OK. So, and now because we are hiding them, I think we should be able to do some cleanup in here because we do have some some validations and stuff in here that we don't really need anymore. So let's look at the, uh, at the validators. Yeah, so there is a problem when you don't have any any waves. 
but that's taken care of by the editor. You there's no way for duplicating the waves anymore, so you don't care about that. And yeah, I think we can just get rid of all the all the validators and just be done with it. Okay. We should still be able to, to look at this. We should still be able to interact with the waves. Maybe let's try to create, actually let's do it in the, in the second level. Just so I don't mess with it, or I know it's working right now. Okay, so I can, I can create a new wave. We still have uh, errors here, wave three. Let's add an enemy. We have small enemy count. I don't care about that. Yeah. Anyway, I can I can do stuff with it. So that's nice. I mean, the, uh, what I mean is that this is still working. So so that's 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 good. Um. Okay. Cool. I may get rid of this too. Not showing it, and I might actually do it now. Because that's a, that's another thing that we don't need to see. I mean, shouldn't be able to interact with this with this array anymore. Because we are, uh... and this also has validators. Okay, that that is actually nice. Yeah, we're gonna get rid of this, also. We don't care about the, the valid uh, and this as well. We don't care about the validators. And here we're gonna do hiding inspector. So first of all, we will be able to see the levels because any any level created with the with the editor is gonna be added to the to the object in here. So this is part of the this test levels definition. So we will still be able to see them from the from the project view, but now we we can no longer uh, edit the, the the order of them. I mean, not directly. I think if you go into debug, oh, not even in debug mode. Okay, so we can't see them at all. Yeah, so that that's perfect. We can we can't interact with the with the array uh, any anymore, but we we always have the the option of doing it through through the editor. So. So that's uh, that's fine with me. That's the that's the intention. Okay, so I think that's that's it. Um, I think there's anything else to do. So yeah, let's commit this and move on to the next task. Okay, so this only took ten minutes. Um, yeah, this was a a quick a quick change. So feature. Publish. Okay. One down. More to go. Okay. So the, the next the next task is uh, yeah. So 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 for the those two enemy types, uh, we need to. Um, we need to know the, the 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 damage type, so we we need to know. Okay, so so you can damage uh, the the enemy. The enemy can take hits, and uh, it's, the hits uh, health is gonna be lowered. But uh, we need to know what kind of damage he took, um, because there are there are some types of damages that, for example, for the flying enemy, that yeah you. I don't think we we have defined exactly which weapons won't work on the flying enemy. We just know that some weapons won't work on them. So probably I'm just gonna make it because because we right now we only have two weapons in the game. I'm gonna make the the, the projectile weapon not work on the flying enemies and uh, only only make the uh, the laser one work. 
and there's a similar situation with the with the healer. Um, yeah. So yeah, uh, this task, uh, what, what this task uh, is for, uh, we're gonna create a scriptable object, which will basically, it's gonna be the, the type of damage that, that whoever does the damage, um, no, it has to pass it to, through the method. So yeah, when, when, when an enemy gets a, gets a call on the, on the, I don't know what the method is exactly on its health component. But when he, when he gets the call, he will get uh, both the amount and the type of damage that he received. And I think there are some other things that we have to do, but I haven't specified them here, but I now, now that I'm thinking about it, uh, I think I'll have to do it. But anyway, so so let's, tr let's start doing this. Um, now the question is, where should we put this? Because it's not something that is um, related per se with the enemies. Um, I, I'm not sure if I'm gonna. Um, Do those laser attacks uh, have anything to do with the... Uh... Oh, they... Uh, um... Wait, what, what is enemy damage actually? Oh, this is the actual... Uh, the, 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 okay, 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 okay. I was thinking this was some, uh, something else, yeah. Okay, so th this is the the component that deals damage to the tower when the um, when, when the enemy reaches the top. Okay, so that that's not what we want. The 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 health component is what we need, and I saw exactly what I needed to see. So I'd like to avoid having even though even though Unity is not gonna mind, uh, I still would like to avoid having circular dependencies. So because the the laser attack. Uh, has an import here with with a with the enemy health compo component or yeah it uses this. Uh, I think I'm gonna put the damage in a, or this damage type in a in a separate um, in a separate file, probably even in a in a separate uh, folder. Um, so yeah, uh, let's let's do that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna make. I think I'm gonna just make like like a like a folder right here. Um, I can't really link the damage type to to the tower because, or the or the weapons. I mean, because the weapons are not going to be the the only thing that can deal damage to the to the enemies. We'll have other ways to to deal damage. So yeah, I'm just gonna put it like in a on a top level. I'm gonna call the the the, the folder damage. We're gonna make a run a run time folder inside of it, and here we're gonna make our first class, and probably the the only class damage type. It's gonna be a class. It's gonna be a scriptable object, and let's change some things in here. Um. Create asset menu, menu name, project tower, slash damage, slash damage type. And I think that's, that's everything. We don't, we, we don't need to specify anything inside of it. We just need to, to have like, like a reference so we can link different parts of the, of the game. Okay, so let's create a folder here. A folder, yeah. Damage. Create. Project tower. Where is damage? Damage. There we go. Damage and damage type. Um, laser damage type. Let's say. And we're gonna make a. Uh, uh, Gonna make one for projectiles as well. 
those are gonna be changed uh, once we make the actual actual weapons. Because okay, the laser is a single weapon, but the projectile actually uh, will be transformed into two separate weapons. So there are th those th those weapons that we have right now more or like showcase the the type of attacks that we have. No, not the the the, the weapons themselves. So yeah, but for now. Um, we're gonna keep uh, keep them like this. Okay, so we have this, and now we have to change something on the enemy. So the enemy, enemy health, and then we have take damage in here. So we're gonna have a mount, and I think I'm gonna put the, this uh, this in in front of it. So I'm gonna have damage. Oh yeah. Uh, before we do that, we still have a, one thing left to do. Uh, let's open this in Unity or show in Unity. We have to create an assembly definition reference so we can add this script to to our assembly. Runtime assembly, apply. So now it's going to be part of the assembly and we're going to be able to, to access it in here. So. Uh, uh, damage, there we go, damage type, type and amount, yeah, please, add, the, add this, yeah, okay, so we have it there, that's nice, and now it's gonna scream at us because it doesn't know how to deal damage anymore, and that is perfect, Exa it's exactly what we wanted, we have to add, um, so this is damage, let's add it. Suffix label HP. Yeah. So let's how should we do this? So it's gonna be public damage damage type. Uh, let's call it also damage type. Let's put it as null by default. Let's put it in a tab and Let's put it in a, in a horizontal group. So we have those two on the same line. Actually, let's make this uh, better. Let's 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 uh, define a name for the for the horizontal group in case we, we we're gonna have another horizontal group in here some other time. Okay, so we have the laser attack, and now we can do this. D, D dot uh, damage type. So one down, one to go. We have to change the projectile attack as well. So this is the projectile. We have to, yeah, here we have to go here in the data. Let's actually copy over this because this is going to be the same um, here. Damage type, please import this. And now we, oh, this is in projectile. Now that, that's interesting. Okay, we have to specify to the projectile what type of damage it actually is. So private damage type, damage type. And here in setup, we have to specify it. So uh, damage type. Image type. Okay. Uh, we will get rid of this. Yeah, we won't have a bottom for the projectile. We, we, we don't care about that anymore. And... Why the damage type? Here we go. Now in the projectile attack we have to pass in the d dot damage type. Cool. Okay. So now the code should compile, and we should be able to go to our weapons, which is this is the projectile one. And here we should have. Damage type, damage stat. Uh, this doesn't look like I wanted it to look. Why is that? 
I expected those two to, to, to be in a in a horizontal group. Oh, because I have I forgot to put the yeah. I forgot to put the horizontal group on the on the damage as well for the projectile attack. Okay, so now they should be in line. And they're still not in line. What? Why? Why are they not in line? Oh, we can't combine it with the tab group. That's so stupid. Okay, that's... That's not cool. Okay, fine. We're not gonna put them in line. Whatever. Uh, but at least I'm gonna indent it like we did for the stat. And now I look at this damage stat. Don't I have a damage stat on the laser attack as well? Apparently I don't. Should add that as well. Let's look at this. Yeah, so this is like the... This is the way of... Uh, having a multiplayer for the damage. Okay, I'll have to look into this. Doesn't really matter right now. But okay, let's get rid of this as well. This also, and put the indent here. Yeah, this is fine now. Okay, so now let's assign the damage type. So this is projectile damage type. Save. And let's go to the laser as well. Uh, this and yeah yeah this is the one so laser damage type okay so now to test this we can go to the enemy health component and we, I guess we can just log it in here uh, actually, these okay. And here we're gonna say um, damage type is type. Let's play the game. We're gonna make first a Ah, oh, god damn it! I have to fix this sometime. Okay. Uh, actually, let's fix it right now because I know what I have to do. Um, let's see. Um, first, actually, I have to add. Uh, do I have to add that anymore? Try to remember. Uh, let's go to plugins, yes, framework, assets, no, internals, I guess. Yeah, let's add this. Not sure if this is uh, required anymore. No, it's not. It's for a service that doesn't exist. Okay, we don't care about this. But what we care about is... Okay, my, my phone just... Um, game manager, yet service refs, and game manager. Yeah, wait. Yeah, we have the game manager now in the list. Cool. So now when we play, we should be able to, to see the game as... Yep. Okay, so let's make a projectile and let's make a laser at the top somewhere here. Okay, so now we can actually see the. So the, the, the actually let's let's yeah let's open the console. Oh, nice. When you click on that, it actually opens the the console the the the, the pro console not the. Oh God damn it! Let's let's pause this. But anyway, it, it it's actually working because yeah, after the the, the wave started and the, and the enemy started uh, appearing or spawning, 
yeah, we have a projectile damage type here. So yeah, it is actually working. And here before we had the, the, the laser damage. Cool. So it is actually working. We've tested it, it works. We are now good to go. Okay. So having this, we will be able to make those those other enemy types. Okay. Let's finish this task. 15 minutes. Um, let's commit the, the, the changes. We've made a, a couple of changes here apparently. Uh, let's screen action. I'm going to rename this as riff. Um, I don't think I need to, to look at the code, do I? Oh yeah, of course I do. I have to remove this. Always check your code before committing. That is very important. Um, so the mission type I don't care about. Here it's a, it's a simple change because we're actually doing nothing. Okay, with the... Let's get rid of this. Save. We're actually doing nothing with the type right now. Um, oh yeah, that's that's what I was. Uh, yeah, that's what I had to do. But I think I'm gonna, we're gonna do it when we when we get to the flying enemy. Uh, we have to make a way. So so yeah, we're passing the damage type in case we need it here. But what we should do actually is um, have have a check. So so when the when the uh, the enemy takes damage, we should have like on the on the actual um, yeah on the actual enemy. You should be able to define uh, the, the the damage types that uh, that are accepted for that type of enemy, and we should check that here. And uh, another thing is a uh, as um, uh, an optimization for for the weapons. We'll ha also have to add a, a method uh, for um, asking if we can damage uh, if we can damage the the enemy with that with a specific damage type. So we know we don't have to take the the enemy into consideration uh, with a certain weapon. But we're gonna do that um, when we get to the flying enemy, because that's where we actually need it. The most important thing right now was the was a scriptable object. Uh, scriptable object. Let's look at the laser attack. Yeah, this looks fine. Let's look at the data. Also okay. Projectile. Okay, we got rid of that, that's fine. And we've added a type and we're passing it here. Um, this one, it's nice. And I think this is the last file and this looks nice as well. Yep, that was the last one, okay. So let's commit this and get to all the files. Get to the next task which is actually creating the small enemy, which is exactly the enemy that we have right now in the game. Uh, but we're gonna make it... Um, yeah, we're gonna make it behave like we, like we want it. Um... Okay, so let's look at our enemy, which is this. Um, so a bit about a, a bit about our enemies. Um, oh, it's not defined here. Oh, actually, no. yeah, it's not very much defined, but. But the idea is that the, the the small enemy has fast movement but low health, so it's gonna be like a very small unit uh, that's uh, moving 
yeah, obviously moving very fast. And in the, there's going to be a, a, a large amount of them coming at once. But they're going to have uh, low health, so you'll be able to, to deal with them uh, pretty easily. Uh, one thing that I'm thinking about right now, do we have a way of controlling the speed of the enemies? Yeah, okay, yeah, we do. Okay, I, I'm, I was not sure that we had a way of uh, setting the speed. Uh, I was not remembering if I did that already or not, but apparently we did. So we have this. So that's that's cool. Okay, so I'm gonna let's unlock this. Let's make the sphere. Uh, actually, this is perfect because I can make it, make it smaller. So I made it smaller. Uh, let's um, uh, decrease the health. Let's say that it has like. 10 health points uh it doesn't really matter right now because as i said we yeah we'll have to play the game to to actually uh balance it but yeah i'm just gonna uh, put some some rough things in here um let's put a, a, a one coin in here and that should be it. Um, I'm gonna keep this. I'm not gonna keep it. Uh, is this used anywhere? I think it's used, but I don't know where. I think it might be in level two in the first or the second wave. No, third wave? No. Okay, so it's maybe used here. Yeah. Let's uh, change this into the small enemy. And I can't. Okay. Uh, so then, screw this. We're not gonna have that. Okay. Let's save this. Oh, I should. I should maybe add a save button in here. Huh. Yeah, that would be good. Or maybe I should auto save this whenever you make a change. Hmm. But actually, I don't know when when you make a change. Can I undo in here? Yes, I can. Nice. Anyway, uh, we don't care about that right now. But uh, yeah, we can get rid of this. We no longer need it. And now let's create the other enemies. So, may... actually, uh, yeah, we have to create the other ones, but uh, those are part of the the other task. Let's finish this and. Actually, let's look at it. Let's see what we've done. It should be way smaller now, and we should be able to to kill them with the. Actually, yeah, with the laser. Of course, I can kill them, but we should be able to kill them with the with the projectile weapon as well. Uh, let's skip this and nope. The the the, the projectile weapon is very. It has very low damage. Let's let's change that. It's kind of annoying. Let's put this at like let's double it maybe. And let's increase the let's make it like stupid crazy. Yeah. Okay, this should be better, maybe. Um button should be around here. And let's put it here. Yep. Uh, it's a little bit like a, a machine gun. I should make the, the this line a, a slimmer. Let's continue tracking here, actually. Yeah, let's make that. Um, there. Where? Where do I have to put that? Not sure. Um. Those are the... Where is my tower? Is it here? Oh, okay. I have to move this. It's not... Uh, it's not good that it's in here. Um, I'm not sure how that is made. Oh, 
Never mind. I know exactly how it's made. Uh, oh my god, that's gonna be shit. I have to modify each and every module. Ah, yeah, this this is something I don't I don't like. The line render is uh is on the path. That is not good. Let's close the the positions. I have I want to do this. But that's ah, uh, but oh, but we do have the presets though. Yeah, that's why we made the presets, right? Because now I can do this and apply the preset. Nice. Okay, uh, where are my uh, modules? Select both of them. Apply preset, save, and back. Uh, helix, those two. Select, preset, save, and back. And the music is gone. Save. Yeah, I think this is gonna look better with the with the with the line not so thick. Uh, let's change the music first. Let's see what we can listen to. Um, let's do some bad wolves. Let them internet ring. Ah, uh, here we go. Let's. Oh, that was weird. I saw the projectile that went a little bit crazy there. Let's watch this again. What the hell? Where was that? Okay. That projectile was that that came out of nowhere. Oh. Yeah, the projectiles are going crazy apparently. Oh, if the enemy is dead, or no, if the enemy dies while the projectile is is uh, looking after the enemy, right? That's a bug. Yep. <laughs> okay, but anyway, the the thing is that uh, I think it's 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 better with the uh, with this line not uh, not so thick. So that's that's good. What I don't like is the fact that uh, I have to go into each module to uh, to change the thickness the, uh, the thickness of the line. Okay. Um. Let me log this bug because this is an important one. Um, the files are stuck. Bug. I'm gonna add it to the backlog. Okay. Let's commit this. Now let's make the medium enemy. Create folder. Medium. Uh, I'm. I am gonna duplicate the small one though. Yeah. You duplicate the material as well. So those two. Let's move them there. 
Actually, to be honest, I might duplicate the the actually no, I'm gonna recreate them. The stats, small, medium, enemy. Yeah, let's make it different by. I mean, it's gonna be bigger in size. Let's make it like orange. Let's let's use our orange. FF uh, six thousand. Yeah. That's a good orange. Now let's look at this. Let's add the correct material. And let's make it double in size. Okay. And now, the, the uh, actually let's start the timer. So the difference for the, for the medium enemy is He's gonna be. Uh, let's do properties for this. So the medium uh, enemy is gonna be um, slower. Uh, it's gonna have more health, but it's gonna be or, or more health than uh, uh, more health than the than the small enemy, but it's gonna be small. Uh, it's gonna be slower than the than the small enemy. So let's look at the values that we've put right here, and we're gonna adjust them. So we've said that the, this enemy has 10 health. Let's say that this uh, medium one has 15. Maybe the speed of the small one is five. Let's make this like three, maybe. And it's gonna have. Let's put a 15 in here just for the damage to the tower and let's say that we're gonna get three coins for killing it and okay so that's almost done uh, now we have to do all those uh, oh yeah so we have to create the definition files so enemy enemy definition medium enemy definition okay and now we have to create all those stats so we need health stat let's make a uh, properties for this as well awesome so create project tower uh, link uh, medium enemy let's say this so actually let's copy this uh, medium enemy health stat and let's assign it so uh, okay another one for speed another one for damage uh, project tower link damage and coins currency it's currency okay and I think those are uh, those are all the stats Yep, I don't see anything related to the to the small uh, small enemy in here, so we are good. Okay, let's save it and let's add it to the game. And by add it to the game, I mean put it in the in the first wave so we can see it. Uh, nope, I don't want to create a level list. That was not my intention. I want to go to the first level, go to this wave, and add another enemy, medium enemy. Let's add two of them. That's the, the spawn rate is okay. Let's spawn after the previous, and let's do no multipliers. Oh, this is why they were okay. Let's get rid of all the multipliers just to have the like the, the stock experience uh, with with the enemies, and let's uh, debuff the projectile weapon so we don't have the the bug anymore. Until, uh, until I fix it. So fire it, put a fire rate of 
two per second. Uh, yeah, we're gonna keep the damage of five. That's fine. Let's play now. Okay, that's an error. What is this? Oh, we don't have a pool. Now that's not good. Uh, this one has a pool, right? Yeah. Okay. We need to make a pool. ASF object pool. Actually, uh, should I call it just pool? No, okay. So we're gonna have this. We're gonna say, let's have 10 enemies. Uh, do I have extra? Uh, no, I don't have anything there. Okay. Now the question is, where do I have to add this? Probably here, somewhere. Enemy spawner object pool. Enemy uh, no, this is the object pool for that. Uh, does this have any? No, it does not. Where do I? Where do I register the? I definitely have to edit somewhere. I mean, it's not here, but where do I have to? Where does the error come from? Actually, that's that's my that's my cue. Enemy spawner. Wave enemy definition, enemy pool. Okay, so that means that it's on the enemy definition. Yeah, yep, I don't have a, I don't have the pool assigned here. And I have to assign the stats. What is the name here? Wait, what? What is the name? Uh, what? What is that? Variable. I am not sure what's this. What the hell is that? I don't remember that. Uh, enemy definition. Excuse me? What is it? Okay, I'm not sure what this is. Uh, can I reset it somehow? Uh, yeah, if I open it again, right? Yeah, can I select like a string? String variable, but it's not a string variable. What? Okay, this is weird. Uh, the, 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 this localized string behaves uh, weird. Yeah, this is this should be a, a, a way for me to select the name of the... The name of the enemy, and by select I mean it should I should be able to specify which key from the um, from the from the table from the localization package it should use. Okay, uh, this is weird. I have to see what's up with that. But anyway, we don't care about that. Uh, let's look at the stats. Uh, so we have uh, the, the stats are defined here. You have to define them on the medium enemies as well. So let's lock this and let's get all those stats. This one and this one. Let's assign them. Save. And now, now we should be good to go. So let's try it. Come on. Got the weapon. Let's add it. A. Oh, something weird is happening with the projectiles. Anyway, we can add a laser and that's gonna deal with them. Because the laser is very, very, very powerful. Yeah, it's like instant, instant death. 
but cool we we do have uh, different types of enemies so that is nice okay uh what should be the last on the yeah the last on the list is the 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 big enemy <laughs> don't really have good names for them uh Okay, uh, let's finish with this. Let's commit uh, the changes. Collaborate, let's add them all. Feature. Okay, publish. And yeah, let's work on the, the big enemy. And the big enemy is yeah, you probably picked up the pattern. It's gonna be like very slow, but it's gonna have a lot of health. And there's a there's a special mention here. We have we have a weapon which is called the the, the spear, um, which is like a like a, an improved version of the, the of the crossbow, uh, which will be able to um, basically shoot an enemy. So it's gonna shoot spears. Uh, uh, to the enemies, uh, and it's gonna have a chance of knocking them out of the, uh, uh, knocking them off of the tower. So, even if you if you don't kill them, they're just gonna be thrown off of the tower, and uh, yeah, they are gonna die eventually. But uh, you don't have to, you you won't have to, like, uh, take all uh, all, all, all their health. Okay. Okay, so let's make the the big enemy as well. Now that we know how to do it, so this should go smooth. So big enemy. Uh, I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna actually let's duplicate everything. Can I? Uh... I don't wanna, I don't wanna copy paste. I don't wanna. Oh, actually, do I wanna copy paste? No, because copy paste is actually cut, right? If I if I say copy and paste it here, oh, it doesn't even. Never mind. It doesn't even work. I don't have a shortcut for copy paste for objects. Anyway, yeah, we're gonna duplicate those two. Let's throw them in here, and as as I did previously, we're gonna make the other things ourselves. So this is a big enemy. This is big enemy material. Uh, let's unlock this. Let's make this like uh, a more yellowish uh, color. Maybe doesn't, I don't, I don't really care. Um, okay. Let's make the definition. Project tower, uh, enemy, enemy definition, big enemy definition. Uh, let's make the pool now that we know that we need it. Uh, ESF object pool, big enemy object pool is this. Chunk size is 10. We're going to pre warm it. Um, Okay, save. And here we have to add a definition. Okay, and now we have to do all those stats again. So let's do the same. So let's do properties. Oh, and actually I have to, to increase those, those. Let's have him have like 50 health maybe, I don't know. He's gonna have a speed of one. It's gonna do a lot of damage, like 40 damage. That's actually kind of insane, maybe. But uh, yeah, we don't we don't really care right now. Uh, yeah, let's do the stats. Cause cause we're gonna balance it, but uh, we're gonna do a balance pass or actually multiple balancing passes. But uh, for now, we just have to to have something that works so we can play with it. Okay, so. Big enemy 
that. So we're going to do the same. We're going to copy this. So this is health. Create project tower link. Uh, we need speed. Speed. Uh, damage and the coin currency one. Currency. Okay. Uh, let's increase this to like ten coins. Okay, and the last thing we have to add the stats to to the list here. So let's do that. And let's add this type of enemy as well. Uh, not upgrade, but level editor here, here wave. So you can see it too. Let's add two enemies, spawn rate, it's okay. Let's spawn it after the previous and let's save. Okay, let's play the game. Uh, I think I'm gonna do a laser this time just because it's, yeah, it just kills things instantly. Let's keep over the, the small guys. So those are dead. Here are the, the medium guys did die as well and we should have the the big guys oh my god they are so slow holy shit they are slow um okay let's do just to make it look better um enemies per second let's do a point to five um What else? Uh, there's there's one other yeah there's one other thing that I want to do. Let's make them even bigger. So here we have a two x. Let's make them like this big. That's insane, but would be fun. So let's go fast, 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 fast. I think create a ah. I I I, I wanted a laser. Dang it. I really wanted a laser. Okay, I'm gonna restart it. Just because I want a laser. Because the laser doesn't have the... Doesn't have that bug. I don't like that bug. Okay. Oh my god. Those... Those guys are very big. And they are very choppy. And I'm... Pretty sure I know why. But uh, yeah. And now it's still choppy but faster. Yeah, those are instant kill as well. Cool. Okay, we have the big enemy as well. Um, let's create, let's stop this. So eight minutes. Yeah. Um, so one is, uh, uh yeah and uh, just just an idea uh, the, the reason why i think that that's happening is because of the uh because of the splines so we've made an optimization to the splines i don't know a couple of months ago in which uh instead of uh, evaluating the spline whenever i needed a position uh, we've actually cached the, the like like uh, a lot of position uh, uh, throughout the spine, the the spline. But yeah, there's a yeah because because uh, the the values are evaluated. Um, there is a small gap between each value, so it's possible that uh, because of that, 
we get uh, values that are not necessarily that correct. So we might have to do some things there. Okay. But yeah, we are done with the big enemy as well. And let's see. Let's let's commit this and after that we're gonna start working on the on the flying enemy. This is gonna be similar to the to the to the ones that we've made. Uh yeah the the as I said the difference for the flying enemy. I don't know if if, if there's anything written more in here. Yeah. Yeah, so so the 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 the, the difference between those uh, the, the flying enemy and the and the ones before is that uh, you can only damage uh, the flying enemy with using specific weapons. So not not all weapons will work on them. So you will need certain type of uh, types of weapons in case you encounter this uh, this type of enemy. Or if you don't, maybe let's say you, you don't have enough space to to create a new a new weapon that that deals with uh, with this type of enemy you'll always be able to use your 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 powers to to kill it manually yeah yeah so we're going to work on this um this should be also quite easy to do because uh it's um Yeah, it's not. It, it, yeah, as I said, it doesn't do a lot of things. We we have to. The, the only thing is is that we have to add the the thing that that I've talked about a couple of minutes ago. When it takes damage, it should check if if it if it should be able to take damage from that specific uh, source. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna take a short break and we're gonna continue with uh, with the flying enemy. So. Um, See you soon. I'm back. Yeah, so let's uh, let's start working on the on the flying enemy. First, we're gonna do actually the same thing that we've done uh, for for the other enemies as well. So yeah, we're gonna duplicate this. Um, what the hell am I doing? Create yeah. Let's add a folder. Um, Liar, liar, liar. Ah, that's all right. Uh, oh, I guess that. Uh... Okay, let's duplicate the medium enemy. Repeat. Drop them in here. Liar. We are gonna change this. Let's make him purple ish. Something like this, maybe. And let's add something to it. Um, Z should be the front of it. So let's add some uh, wannabe wings. Uh, let's add a, let's make them cubes. Uh, oh yeah, okay. I was wondering where did the where did the sphere go, but uh, it perfectly fits inside of <laughs> inside of the cube. Okay, so let's make this. Actually, let's use the scale tool. Why not? Okay. Okay. 
put inside a sphere. Left wing. Yep, like this. Okay, uh, let's add the same material to the wings as well, maybe. Uh, actually, let's see if we get flyer. Wing material. Let's make it. Uh, let's make it darker. Let's not make it smooth. Yeah. Try to 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 rotate it a bit, maybe. Um, on the Y, I guess. Let's put a minus 20. Put 20 here. Yeah, maybe something like this. Uh, let's bring them uh, back a bit, maybe. Yeah, like this. Okay, that should do it. Okay, now let's create uh, everything that it needs. So um, let's start with the definition. So enemy definition, flyer enemy definition. Uh, let's make the pool. Uh, flyer enemy object pool. Sign, we want 10. Object pool, save. Goes here as well. And now, about the health and everything, I don't know what's a good health. Let's put five for it. Uh, let's make uh, let's make it five speed. Uh, let's make uh, let's put it a ten damage to the tower, and let's uh, say it's gonna give us twenty coins if we kill it. Okay, and now let's create the, 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 the stats links. So create this link. Um, flat enemy space space stat stat. And the first one is going to be health. The second one is going to be Speed. Speed, then damage, and then uh, coin currency. Eight. Okay, and last on the list is go to the definition, lock it, and add the stats here. Yes. Okay. Uh, I have a curiosity. Um, uh, just uh, one second. I want to see something. This directly game object. That's not good. I should change this to to use addressables. Anyway, doesn't matter. We don't care about that right now. Let's look at the enemy in the game. Let's add it to the wave. Let's make another wave for it. Um, flyer wave. Let's put it as the first one. Flyer enemy, let's say I want 10 of them, spawn rate, one per, sure, one per second, 
and no multipliers and no shenanigans that should do it let's play and let's see what we've done uh <laughs> it's not quite what i was thinking it's gonna be like but um uh, yeah sure <laughs> That that works. Okay. Um, yeah. Chongus boys. Good them. Gigantic. So gigantic. Let them be so slow. Nice. Okay, the easy part is done. Now let's work on the. Let's see. Um, yeah, it's gonna be so. It's gonna be the health component. And what we're gonna add here is. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh. Else that I think I'm gonna add them here. So we're gonna have a list. No, let's make it a, uh, an array. Um, so public damage type array allowed allowed damage types allow. Oh, damage types let's add them to the to the tab group let's maybe put a space here and a space here as well okay so i'm gonna make it like if you don't have anything in the damage or, or in this in this array, every every uh, every damage type is gonna be allowed. So I will make uh, let's see, I'll add a validate input maybe. Yeah, condition. Default message, message type, yeah. So we're gonna have whatever here. Uh, because no. specified um, all of all of them and this is uh, an info and now let's make the validator for it private actually uh, I think it needs to be a, a to return a bool this validate this and oh, instead of validator what I'm gonna return true and this is 
for this actually i had it in keyboard so if this count is equal to zero this will be true right here let's do name of this while that compiles let's uh, put some more music uh, what should we listen to what should we listen to just some ghost Maybe not the first one because that's a creepy one. Okay. Okay, so let's look at our flyer. I don't see shit. Oh, here. Okay, this doesn't work, apparently. Oh, no, this might be. I think it has to be the other way around. So if it's valid, it's not gonna show the message. So I don't want it to show the message. Yeah, because no damage type is specified, all of them will be allowed. And now if I add a damage type, ta-da, it is gone. Cool. Very cool. Now let's see if we can do some some stuff here. Um, doesn't have anything about duplicates. Not cool. That was the only actually not the only thing. Uh, expanding. I'm gonna make it true. Always expanding and. And I'm gonna make it not be paginated, even though you're, you're only gonna have a couple of items there. So you won't have a, like a big list. Okay, cool. So now if I remove it, the message is back. Nice. So let's see, I'm gonna make it so only the laser is allowed. So let's make this work. Let's go to, to the component and say public bool is damage type allowed. And I'm gonna say damage type type type. And I'm gonna return true if d dot allow damage types at count. Oh, damn it, the count or the length, whatever. Oh, the length is zero. Or if it's not zero, I'm gonna say d dot allow uh, damage types dot uh, contains. Type okay, that it's length here as well. Cool, let's make this a uh, one liner. If this is zero or is damage type allowed of type, if it no, if it's not allowed, then return. So that's that's one thing that we have to do. So now, if we test our uh, yeah exit prefab, yes please. So now we should be able to make a projectile weapon, and even they they are uh, even though they are attacked, uh, they shouldn't take any damage, and we won't be able to see that unless we inspect them. Because we don't have any way of knowing the, the, the health of the enemies unless we look at them. So this is the health. Yeah. Yeah. So they're in, they're in perfect health. Even though they have been attacked by the, by the, by the thing. Okay. Now, the problem is that we, so, so, so that's, that's like the, the most low level uh, check that we that we have uh, one other check that i'd like to do is 
in, in the in the actual attacks or should we do it in the attacks hmm. should we do it in the attacks or in the detection no we can't do it in the detection huh So we have to get so 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 we have those methods here. Um, we need to get the closest enemy to us, so so we can target it. But we have to also take into consideration the the damage type of this weapon. And this has a whole, a whole thing here. Because this doesn't calculate the, 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 the closest enemy on the fly. It actually has a list of them. I mean, obviously it has a list of them, but it, it has the value cached. Which is not... Cool. I mean, hmm. I am using the square magnitude, so it's not that bad. I mean, not 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 that heavy. Uh, I think I'm going to make I'm still going to have this or should I yeah I'm going to keep it for now try get closest enemy so we're going to have an out enemy and we're going to also have a system of function which does what it gets a game object and returns a bool and it has a it's called custom filter or filter What this but I, I don't like this approach. So, so so what I'm thinking right now is have a method that gets me the closest enemy, but it's gonna instead of using the the, the cache value, it's gonna check every time I call this method, which is the closest enemy. Uh, and it's gonna do that because I want to apply a filter. So before it looks at the enemies, or uh, yeah, at, uh, at all the enemies, I'm gonna do a filter on them and only look at those that pass this filter that I'm providing it from the outside. But that's not that cool. So I might actually do a different thing. Um. I'm gonna do it in a different way. Um, in here. Should I add it in here? I don't think I wanna add it in here though. Or, um, no, no, let's not keep it in there. Let's do it in here. Yeah, I'm gonna do it in another way. And it's gonna be better. So let's go make a private, uh, it's gonna be a list and it's gonna be a list of this. A list of this. Uh, 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 uh. 
filters. So what are filters? We are going to use them in here. So D dot enemies in range dot where um, enemy uh, filters dot Let's see, how do we do this? Um, oh, this is actually what I want, true for all. No, 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 that is indeed f f of not filters but e is this actually what i want where does this come from is this like uh is it this from list holy shit i have i had no idea this existed so this is going to turn a bull damn holy holy hell this is a Okay, I had no idea this existed. So instead of having actually a funk in here, it sh it would be like this. Let's get rid of the system from here. I I hate it. Let's fix the code which needs it. Math. This is not correct. You should use Unity's library. Okay. So we have filters. The hell. Okay, nice. That is actually cool. So now we're playing this filter. Uh, we don't need this anymore. Uh, what we need is a way of adding and removing filters. So let's do that. So public, uh, public void add filter, which is gonna system is gonna be a system predicate uh, for this. And this is gonna be filters dot add uh, filter and the same for remove. Filter, okay. And now in the laser attack, what I can do is in the load phase, before the complete load, I can say d dot enemy detector dot add filter, and I'm gonna create a filter here. So private bool. Um, can I make it static? No, I can't make it static. Uh, so private bool. Um, Enemy filter and I game object game object game object dot get component in children and this is gonna be a uh, enemy health dot um is damage type allowed? D dot damage type. Ta da! Let's name this to enemy. This should do it. Uh, you can also make it uh, like this. So you have the enemy, get the enemy health component, and check if the damage type is allowed. And if it is, that is an enemy that we're going to use. And um, uh, 
I assume on destroy I should remove the filter. I mean, it might not matter that much, so to be honest. Okay, let's see. Oh, actually, I have to do it for the. For, I have to do it for the um, projectile attack as well. Oh, I can copy this like like so. Oh no, this is the load. Uh, never mind. That's the load phase. So let's copy this. Let's paste it. Copy this. Okay. Cool. Let's try it. So now, what should happen? What should happen? Uh, I'm expecting uh, to be able to create. Let's put pause here. Uh, um, I should be able to put a projectile weapon. And for the first way, I should see no. Let's step through it until we get a. Okay, this might not be ideal. Okay. Um, so I should be able to put a weapon. Uh, actually, let's not put it there. Let's put it in here just so we can easily see. Uh, I do have to be in play mode actually. Uh, projectile. Uh, ah, but damn it! I have to do it in the king, not in the editor. I'm stupid. Okay, so I put it there. Stop. Um, let's look at the weapon. So this is the weapon. We should have. So the, here is the enemy detector. Uh, does the inter? Yeah, internal tells us everything that we need to know. So if I unpause this. Oh whoa 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 whoa. Okay. Stuff is happening. There's no closest enemy, but something is going crazy. Wait, 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 wait. What? Make it closest enemy. Oh, yeah, that's. As enemies, and this is not null. Because if it is null, that's not good. Okay. I mean, this might be the the only. No, let's say like this. Yeah. Okay, second try. Play. Let's try to do it fast. Pick that weapon. Let's do it here. Uh, let's pause. Let's go to the weapon. Here. And pause. There we go. We, we have enemies in range. But there is no closest enemy. And now that I think about it, should I even add them to the to the list? So 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 what I've done here is I'm actually doing this here. So where I'm calculating the closest enemy. But maybe the when I think that yeah, that's a better idea. I should do it in here. So so when it enters, that's when I should do it. Yeah. Yeah. I think that is a better idea. It's gonna be less error prone. So if it's not an enemy or if if it's not true for all. Yeah.
that like false for any? No, it's only true for all. Yeah, and now we can get rid of this. And now we don't need the null check. So now we shouldn't even get the enemies in the list. Oh, but that's... Yeah, no, that's not correct. Uh, hmm. Yeah, so my reasoning for that, but I don't know if, if, if we're going to have this use case in the game. Yeah, uh, the way I, I wanted to do it that way was because, let's say, for example, you have a weapon. Let's say you have, I don't know, let's say you have a crossbow weapon so it shoots it it shoots uh, arrows you're, uh, you're gonna have a filter and maybe the enemies are gonna be filtered out because they can't be uh, attacked by I, they're not damaged by the by the by the crossbow so we don't care about them but let's say you you can have an upgrade on the weapon that uh, transforms the the arrows from simple arrows to flaming arrows, and the same enemy that that doesn't take damage from the from the from the arrows, uh, it's gonna it's gonna be able to take damage from the actual fire. So with the way uh, this is done right now, with the filter directly in uh, on the on trigger enter if we have a, an enemy that is in the radius of the weapon um, that that doesn't take damage uh, I mean you can take damage from the tower because it doesn't pass the filters um, if while the enemy is inside the, the range of the weapon we upgrade to this new type of weapon and the the damage type changes from like a simple arrow to a flaming arrow then we should start shooting the enemy but because we we have no reference of it because it's, we we've just filtered it out when when he entered the, the area we're not gonna know about it so we're not gonna start shooting it even though it might be the closest enemy. But... I don't think... I'm pretty sure... We're not gonna have weapons that... Uh, that will be uh, upgraded, in the, uh, upgraded in this way. Like, they will require changing the, 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 the damage type. They're only gonna be stronger, maybe they're gonna look different, but they're not gonna be... They're not going to change their damage type um, from one level to another. So yeah, this should be fine. But if it's, if, it's, uh, if we do decide to, to, to have weapons that uh, that change their their uh, damage type, yeah, we'll have to change this back and do that that filter in the in the 4H here. Uh, let's pause. Actually, I can't pause. Uh, projectile, projectile, let's add it. Let's pause it now. Hopefully I got there in time. I mean, I should see nothing in here. So if I unpause, yep, even though the enemies are in here, we have nothing in the list. We do have some enemies though. Uh, filters, filters, yeah. This is not serialized, so I have to instantiate it myself. And screw you, I really wanted it well, I wanted it to be with system, so don't import system if I say I don't want it. Okay. Cool. We can actually make it yeah, let's make it read only. So let's try this again. We should we should be fine right now. I mean we didn't see it in the in the list because it crashed. Uh, now we should not see it in the list and we shouldn't have any any errors 
uh, what was that? I saw something. Oh, is that duplicate shenanigans? Uh, yeah, I'll have to do. Okay, I didn't want it to put it there, but. Okay, so we don't have errors. Uh, and they're not in the list. So there we go. But now if we put the laser somewhere, oh my God. If we put the laser here, the, the laser should kill them. Yep. But the projectile weapon doesn't shoot them. Nice, 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 nice. This is cool. Cool. Okay. So I guess this this um enemy is done as well. Enemy type. And it took like double the time that I uh, estimated for it, but uh, it is not a problem. Uh, yeah, let's let's review the code. Da -da 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 -da. Because of that contains this might not be that uh, I mean yeah this this is not that efficient but uh, it is okay because we're uh, not calling this take damage uh, for example for the for the for the laser we were calling it each frame while the enemy was inside. But now we're not calling it anymore in case we, we don't need to, so... Mm. Actually, we are gonna call it. Yeah, anyway, no, I should be fine. Uh, and if it's not, uh, we will catch it with the profiler and fix it. So damage, unity stuff, allow damage types. We have this uh, cute validator here, that is nice. Laser attack, what have we done here? We've added this filter, we've created a filter and we've added it to the enemy detector, that is nice. Projectile attack, it should be the same thing. We have the filter on destroy, add the filter and some import. Uh, the enemy detector it only has a couple of lines in it. Yeah, uh, collection, those two and those two, yeah. And, and this fix, yep, cool. And that's actually it for the for the code cool let's commit this and get to our last uh last enemy type which is the flying enemy oh not the flying enemy, my bad the healer enemy this was the flying enemy and this healer enemy this is gonna be interesting because this has an interesting behavior and we'll see how we how we can do it Okay, so the the healer enemy, um, yeah, obviously the, the the name says it's always gonna heal the enemy. Uh, they're gonna they're gonna heal enemies. Uh, but uh, his behavior is uh, I don't think I don't think it's defined here. Yeah, this is the the, the, the key part of it. So he he walks along the path. And after he, um, so so he's gonna enter. Or he's gonna go through the through the weapons. I mean, it is go going to take damage. So you will be able to damage damage it most probably. But after he passes a weapon, he's gonna just uh, stop there. Is he's gonna attach himself to the to the tower, 
and he's gonna create a like a, a an aura or an area around it around him um, uh, in which the, um, the 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 other enemies are 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 gonna get healed. So yeah, that's gonna be the behavior. Couple of things that I'm not sure how to do or how to deal with. So, first of all, would be the um. Um, we shouldn't have multiple enemies, uh, or multiple healer enemies, uh, uh, stick to the tower in the, in the, after the same weapon. So we have to deal with that. We're probably going to do like, uh, I don't know, maybe a sphere check after, after he gets out of the, 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 the weapons radius. Um, we're gonna do a sphere check and check if there's any any other healers around him and if there's none uh, he's gonna stick to the tower otherwise he's gonna continue walking along the path and uh, try to to attach uh, to attach himself to the tower after uh, the, the next weapon or he can also go to the top of the tower and damage the tower but his uh, his uh, purpose is to to heal other enemies, so he's probably not gonna have a lot of damage. Maybe he's, he's maybe he's not gonna have any damage. Um, we haven't discussed about this, but uh, his main purpose is to to heal other enemies. So if 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 an enemy if an enemy manages to to pass one of your weapons. Um, he will start getting healed while while he while he travels through through this enemy's aura. Is uh, you know his uh, range of action, I guess. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm going to take another short break and uh, then we're going to come and uh, work on this. So be right back. Let's continue. So let's start the task and yeah, let's create the enemy and program its behavior. I mean, first we have to, to create all the all the boilerplate stuff, but uh, yeah, so first the folder, healer, that's, yeah, let's derive it from the, the medium enemy as well, duplicate, move to healer, Let's make him green, maybe some type of green, like something like this, maybe. And I don't know, let's add something interesting to him. Uh, yeah, whatever, it's going to be a cube 0.5 everywhere. Uh, and let's rotate it. Five. Uh, 
something like this maybe. Okay, this looks like shit. Never mind. Uh, let's try doing it with Pro Builder. Uh, actually, I have to. I wonder if they fixed Pro Builder and if it works in the. It works in the prefab mode. A uh, new shape. I want it to be a. What? Prism? Oh, they fixed it. Oh my god. But what, what was the cone actually? Oh, this might be what we need. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is what we need. Cool. Yep. Uh, let's do a one meter height. Think of a bump here. Cool. Build. Man, I love it that it fixed this. Ah, and now let's center the pivot. Let's do this on local. Zero, zero. Why the hell is this not centered? Why? Just, just why is it not centered? Anyway, let's try to position it. Uh, Actually, we have to, to make it a bit taller. So let's try to, yeah, do it like this. Yeah, I don't know, something, anything would do for this. So. Let's attach this to the sphere. And let's see. Um, let's, see, let's duplicate this material. Uh, healer enemy. Uh, crystal. Let's make this even more green and with HDR. Let's do a two in there. So this is going to be the crystal and I'm going to make this a little bit darker maybe or ah, it was good how it was. I can't see it with uh, post-processing, unfortunately. Uh, let's try to make it a little bit smaller. Why are those like, like this? Uh, Okay, we've done something here. Doesn't really matter that much. Um, let's see, enemy, enemy definition. Healer, enemy definition. Let's see what can we do for music? Um, what, what, let's do some falling in reverse. Let's shuffle it. 
let's make that uh, object pool. So um, there. Not enemy. Let's add this. Let's say one ten. Let's add it to the definition. Okay. Now here, let's add the definition. Okay. <laughs> and now we have to do all those uh, properties. Okay. Not properties, the, the, the stats, I mean. Let's do, let's make him have like a lot more health. Like let's say it has 100 health. Like it's gonna be a, 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 a big unit. Actually, that, that's that's way more than the than the big guy. Let's do 35. Um, Let's have it uh, like a speed of four damage amount. Let's say that it cannot do damage. It even if it reaches the top, he's just gonna disappear. And uh, reward for killing it. Uh, let's do fifty coins. Actually, no. Let's buff the health. No, let's buff the health. Because yeah, even if it. I mean, he's not gonna reach the top, but if he, even if he reaches the top, uh, it does, doesn't matter because he, he won't do any damage. Okay, let's create those uh, those uh, stats links. So, healer enemy enemy space space stat copy, and this is health eight link. Um, what was speed? Another one. Uh, this is damage. Though he doesn't have damage, I might, I might look into. Oh, I think I can remove the uh, enemy damage data uh, altogether. Uh. I don't think there's any other component that uses this. Yep, it, it's just referenced. Okay, uh, let's just get rid of this. So enemy damage data, uh -uh, it won't have this. And this is gonna go as well. We'll save this. So the damage stat, it's not used actually. So let's just rename it to coins, coins, currency. Save. Let's go to the definition, lock it, and attach those stats. Save, and that's it. Let's add it to the. Let's make another wave in here. Uh, create wave. Actually, no. Let's. Uh, oh, let's remove this. Yeah, delete. Let's add it here. So let's put it above. It's gonna be a healer enemy. I'm gonna make one. This is gonna be spawned after the healer enemy. Can I do both? I think I can do both, right? Let's do a like five uh, second delay after this is spawned. Let's try it. I mean, now it's gonna behave like a like a regular enemy. It's not gonna do anything special. Uh... Oh, I did make an assumption, but I did not see it. Wait, I haven't looked at the data, I've looked at the component itself. Yeah, no, wait, what? No, uh, damage this. This. Here. 
I'm spawning an enemy and I'm doing something. Okay, uh, we have to. Do I need this? No. So let's do a. Um, if enemy dot try get component. I mean damage data. Out var enemy damage. Yep, like this. I should do the same for, for the others. Uh, but yeah, one step at a time. Because right now we only care about this one, to be honest. So let's play and see. Should not have errors anymore. There we go. Here's our healer. Which yeah, kind of looks a little bit dumb right now, but... Yeah. Oh, they're catching up with him. <laughs> He's a little bit slow. Anyway. Uh, okay. Now we have to create uh, his behavior. So let's go to the enemy, enemy, damage, health, movement, none of this. Um, healer, I don't know how to call this. Yeah, uh, and I didn't want it a script, I actually wanted a folder. So let's make a folder. Healer. Uh, runtime. And yeah, now I need a class. So this is going to be healer. Yes, sis. Enemies healer runtime. It's gonna be an identity component. Yeah, it's gonna have data, but not right now. We need to implement load phase. Keep load for now, at least. Now let's do the data. Data. Oh 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 oh. The data. Ah, do I need to serialize anything? Yes, I do. Or do I? Um. Hmm. I'm thinking how I want to do this.
Yeah, I don't think I need to serialize anything on it. So I'm going to keep it like this. I will have, however, some data on it, so it is needed. Um, I will need an enemy detector. I will need an enemy detector. Yeah. Yeah, I'll have to take this out of the weapons. Take it on the enemy, it's the enemy itself. I'm not sure. But yeah, I'm gonna need this 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 component. I mean yeah, I'm gonna need this component for the for the killer as well. And I'm gonna need another component which will be similar to this, I guess. Yeah, it's gonna be similar to this. Um and it's gonna be called something like uh like weapon detector, you know. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's make a, a new folder in the root. Let's call it call it detectors. Maybe uh, we need to do runtime. Okay. Let's make the weapon detector. That's not what I wanted. What is this? Come on. Okay. Runtime apply. Okay. And as I said, it's going to be similar to what we've done here with the enemy detector. What do we have in the data here? We're gonna have a radius, we're gonna have a collider. No, I'm not gonna have a col... Should I? Yeah, I think I'm gonna use a collider. Okay. Yep, I'm gonna get like 
most of this thing here. Probably everything actually. Um, I mean, it's not gonna be similar. I don't think I need this. I'm gonna need the line though. Closest enemy, I'm not gonna need enemies in range. I'm not gonna need that. Uh, but the others, um, it's gonna be weapon layer. Yeah. Oh, uh, yes, but not yes. Uh, I need to add those in the. Data component. It's not going to be serializable, so we don't need that. So let's cut this. But nope, 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 nope. Paste. Yep. The component with this. Bit load. Okay. So this is a And here I'm probably going to have something like um, no. Actually, what do I need from this? So, so from, from the weapon detector. Oh, I may have events instead of yeah. Instead of saving the values, because I don't need the values. Yeah. Let's go to the healer and add those components. So let's add the weapon detector data. Let's do I have a no, I don't. I, I have a weapon slot, but I don't have a weapon layer. I'll have to add that, but not right now. Um, let's add the Enemy detector two. Enemy detector data. I uh, will need the line. Oh, uh, that's not cute. So both the weapon detector and the enemy detector want to draw the line for their radius and stuff uh, and I don't like that um, I mean I can just not add it to one of them or there is another thing that I can do with the addition of the filters, I kind of made the enemy detector um, be a generic class. 
but are generic in the sense of like you know C sharp generics. But in a sense that I can add whatever filter I want here, and uh, th 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 this thing is gonna use it. So a filter that I can add is this. So this doesn't have to be here. It can be added by another script and leave as a, as a as a method in this uh, in this list. So what I could do, but this would require some uh, some refactoring. What I could do is have like instead of instead of it being named enemy detector, I'm gonna have a class called only detector, just just so just detector, and it's gonna do everything that the enemy detector does except ha uh, except having this this uh, filter here and you won't do not do things like yeah this here like calculating the closest enemy and stuff it's gonna have events so you'll be able to hook into it and know when uh, when something has happened yeah Yeah, so basically it's gonna have like like this part actually. That's gonna be like the only thing that's gonna contain. But but yeah, so it's gonna have this, and you will still have an enemy detector class. But what the enemy detector is gonna do is have a reference to this detect uh, this new detector class, and add a. Ah, uh, but that doesn't work because I need multiple detectors. I, I still need multiple detectors. No. Mm. How do I want to do this? I still have to have multiple detectors. But my problem, so my problem right now is, um, am I updating the, the line? Am I updating the line? Or is that something that happens? What am I using the line? For that. Enemy detector update. Wait, what? Where the hell was? Oh, this is uh oh executive edit mode. Oh, so this happens. Oh, so this happens here in the editor, which does make sense. Yeah, so my problem is that um, that I have this this line render that I have to that I'm using in the enemy detector, and it makes sense to have one for the. I mean, no, I, I don't no. No, what it what doesn't make sense is ha having this enemy detector or the the this line or rendering this line from the enemy detector. I think that's the problem that I have right now. Because if I don't have that, I don't need anything else. I can just do my thing, 
maybe do what I said with the detector and make the generic, make something, I don't know. But my problem is this line. So what I should be doing is separating this line and the updating of it from the... from the enemy detector and have it in a separate place maybe or yeah no for sure having it in a separate place and it should it should hook into the enemy detector and maybe in this weapon detector or something yeah okay yeah that's what 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 i have to do So extract everything from the enemy detector that can be uh, that is generic and doesn't have to do with the enemy. Make this an actual uh, filter, so it's gonna be added to the filter list, and then use that same base for the weapon detector and the line and everything that has to do with the line it's gonna be moved to a separate component that knows how to render you know the the circle or the yeah the circle of the of the detector of the detector the area the area of the detector now okay yeah that's what I have to do um but i don't know if i want to do it today <laughs> i don't know if i want to do this refactoring today to be honest i might just leave it for maybe tomorrow or for next week yeah i don't i don't, I don't really want to do it today even though it's not that that a that big of a change um yeah i'm gonna i think i'm gonna skip it for today yeah let's let's play the game for a bit let's see how it how it works everything's gonna die here because this laser is op Anyway, um, yeah, yeah, But those those enemies are so slow. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. That's five, so the enemies are gonna come from here. Yep, knew it. That's a projectile weapon. I know I can't, I can't. Ah, cut it. Those two managed to escape. Wait, there were three of them? What? There were three small enemies? What the hell? I'm pretty sure I said there. bugs bugs every oh no oh yeah uh no it does make sense my bad uh that i was looking at the, the the first level this is the the second level 
And this actually has five. Never mind. Yeah, the, the, that's that's fine. Yep, it works. Yep. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna continue with this uh, next stream. Don't I don't know if it's, if it's gonna be tomorrow, most probably it's gonna be uh, next week because I have some some things to do. But um, yeah, I'm gonna write exactly what I have to do in the, in the task. So we're gonna continue with this uh, next time. So let's add a comment and say here, so uh, uh, create, um, detector abstract class detector. Um, and Stand detector uh, move uh, to, uh, to a separate uh, class uh, from an enemy detector to a separate class. Okay. Okay, uh, that's it, I guess, right? That's all I needed to do. I mean, for the for the fact that I mean, not not the not the, not the whole task. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna continue with this uh, next stream. So um, yeah. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna stop here. Um, thanks for being here, and see you on the next stream, most probably uh, next uh, Saturday. Bye bye. <laughs>